pencil here to mark that off. Pencil would probably be a lot better on this carbon here. It's going to be a little hard to see. That's a ran out of ink. Yeah, we'll, we'll just... We'll do our sanding here. Just rough sand that a little bit. First of all, the lengths might vary a little bit on the feathers, so what we like to do is keep them even. Sometimes they have a little tail on there. We just take a utility knife and give them a little trim. And there we go. Now to dress them up a little bit, to have a little bit of a curve on there, all we do is put a little radius on, on the spiral wrap and we can get that. Otherwise, if we leave them, uh, the full feather, it'll be a full feather like this, which will create more drag, and but they both will do a very good job of uh, working as a fluky arrow. Now you don't have to be real perfect or precise with this cutting here. You just want to put a little radius on the back and the front. Okay, now we'll start applying our contact cement. And what we're using on here is just regular Wellwood contact cement that you can get at the hardware store. Okay. Okay, we'll give that a little setup time. We also have to put a, a light coat of glue on the base of each of the feathers. So now you can, carbon shafts, good, everything's good to go on that? Yes, you can, uh, most of the applications will be on carbon or aluminum. Uh, we've been using wood dolls, it works real well on that. Uh, the, the main thing is that you do your preparation right. Uh, by sanding it down and wiping it down. Yep. Now you were saying earlier that your favorite uh, carbon shaft is uh, Victory Arrow shafts? That's correct. That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> Real good. Now, the quill thickness on our full length runs between 32 and 34 thousandths, and I'm talking about this area right in here. And uh, years ago, when people made this, this is actually, this is nothing new. The spiral wrap has been around for a long, long time, except it was always a problem for people. They had a when they got to the end, they had to pin it or tie it up, and, 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 and they had problems with the entire shaft, and mainly because it was hard to control with that quill. But what we did to make it easy was to grind it down. We almost took it completely off. If you look real close, you can almost see the webbing in there, and, and that's what makes it uh, work so well for us, uh, that, that thin base. Otherwise, we'd be fighting with it right now. We'd have a problem. But anyways, you can, uh, yeah, we, when you uh, touch this, you don't want that coming back at you. If it, you know, when it's nice and, you, you can, when it's ready to go, uh, it should not. Is it tacky or almost dry? It's almost dry now. All right. Now we'll go back to that mark that we originally had over here. And, and uh, that's why I like to have the shaft mark so we have a starting point over here. So with that, we'll start on there. There's... You know, there's really no set angle or anything, but I like to keep my finger on that, that front end a little bit, and then we'll start start our spiral over here. And if it starts to bunch up like that, just give it a little tap over there and get that out of your way. I like to leave, oh, about a half inch gap. Maybe the first time you do it, you might want to uh, give a little bit more room. There's really no right or wrong way of doing this thing when it comes to that. I think it's just a matter of what works for you and your preference. Now you don't have to be as precise as I am. All of my gaps are within a couple thousands as you've seen over there, you know. So I figured I could pull that one off of you. No, actually, there is no right or wrong way, so you don't have to be real fussy about that. But I know all you dealers will be, so, and I'm sure you're probably going to have a lot better ideas than what we're doing. We're just doing basic things over here. 
But anyways, there is your spiral wrap. And uh, if, like it sometimes does, like here you can see where it'll want to pull away, I just give that a little trim and really don't have to worry about that too much. On a victory arrow shaft. Isn't that beautiful shaft? It's the <laughs> finest arrow shaft I've ever seen. It really is. Gosh.